Okay, here we go. I am live. Marika, hello. Wow, you're just right there. Don't forget to share, my dear. Oh, look at my hair. I've got this great big curly thing happening, sticking out on the side here. Um, don't forget to share and you'll be entered for the draw. Let me introduce myself. That It's still there. That is so funny. I never noticed that before. That's going to bug me. Um, I guess I'm vain. Uh, hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in East St. Paul, Manitoba, Canada, which is just a little suburb outside uh, on the edges of Winnipeg, the capital of Manitoba. I'm excited that you're here. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be that for you and to help you with your creativity needs. If you do have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that's wonderful. Continue working with your demo, uh, but stick around for some inspiration. So I always um, ask people to share. I'm trying to get my numbers up. And uh, when they do share, if they let me know, I will, um, bonjour, Marika, uh, I will um, add their name to the draw. Let me change my view here. Right there, there's my little draw tickets. I will add your name uh, to the draw and uh, you'll be entered for the draw at the end of um, my video. Hello, Judy, welcome here. Hello, Cheryl, welcome here. So glad you're here. Let me just chat you up on uh, classes for just a little bit here. Cheryl, thank you for sharing. I've got you entered. Um, I still have one March class that I have not done yet, and that's on Tuesday night. It was supposed to have been last Tuesday night, but my grandson was in a concert, and I can't miss that. So my last March class is March the 12th at 6.30. Oh, I should have brought the card forward to show you what you're creating. Um, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. So <laughs> where was I? Sorry, I was reading and trying to keep my thoughts going here. Um, so yeah, March 12th, last class, uh, card class for March. My April classes are up and running, or not up and running, but ready to uh, be signed into. So if you are interested in that for my April card class, and I'm going to show you what we're creating once I get there. I've got this little pile in front of me here um, for my April class. So that's on April the 9th. Uh, simple card class is coming up. Uh, on the 19th of March, I will show you what we're creating for that. Uh, so what that is, is you go home with uh, six cards. You create three different cards to each. It's $30 or for $35, um, you don't pay for your class. And if you want to sign up for that, that is the link that you would use for that. Okay. Um, I have a BYOP coming up on April the 16th. So that's still in a little bit. BYOP stands for bring your own project. So I have scrapbookers that come. I have people that want to work on their Christmas stack or birthday stacks. Um, you can use all of my supplies, all of my inks, my die cutting, my retired items, my current items, yada, yada, yada. Okay. And if you do place an order with me, here is the host code that you would be using um, for uh, that order. Okay. So here we go. Marika, thank you for sharing. I will add your name. You know what, Connie, um, I had a BYOP set up for March and it turned out with Austin having his musical or his, his jazz uh, um, cafe at school, I needed to um, delete my March BYOP, okay? And I just have so much going on this month with my kids coming in town. Um, so I opted to just not do it. I did an executive decision. Marika, again, whoops, please, little pen, do not run out on me. Um, okay, let me go through this little pile here. Uh, so this is going to be the, um, do I already have April card class? 
you know what, this is either going to be the April or the May card class. It is a circle easel card. Okay. That's all you get to see. I just finished creating that this morning. Um, my simple card. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Yes, family first. My simple card class, which is coming up on March the 19th. These are the cards that you would create for that. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. So that is the March simple card class. Now, if you are not local and you are in Canada, you can still do this class virtually. I can set that up with you. If you're interested, just let me know. If you are not in Canada, but you're interested in the tutorials, let me know and we can figure that out, okay? Um, I wanted to show you the Enduring Beauty stamp set with the dies and the, um, the masks. Here is a real quick look at what I created using the masks, okay, and the die cuts. Such a beautiful, beautiful bundle. Love it. Love it so much. Um, layered florals embossing folder. So this is a, hi Karen, thank you for sharing. And Debbie, hello, thank you for sharing. So this is the um, layered florals 3D embossing folder, and it embosses beautifully. So this is the 3D side, and yeah, sorry for the markings on there, but I'm going to flip this over, um, and uh, you can see what I've created with that. I will be doing a live to showcase this, but that one is not today. Let me write Debbie before I forget, and Karen. Thank you for sharing, girls. Um, that just means an awful lot. If your um, girlfriends or whoever it is that you share with, if they happen to pop in during the live, um, let me know and I'll add your name again. Okay, so Karen, if you invited Susie Stamper and Susie showed up, um, let me know, hey, that's who I invited and I'll write your name down. So that's the 3D layered. Th these are the new um, online exclusives. That's why I'm showcasing them. This is the Zinnia 3D embossing folder, really hard to see. And this is what I quickly created with that. So I just ran it through and, um, and used my sponge daubers and just kind of ink that up a little bit. So that's just a fun little thing. And this is filled with fun. And this is also a bundle. So it's like if you have grandchildren and all of that good, good stuff. <coughs> Here's a little wagon card that I created using this stamp set and the matching dies. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, Connie, that's fine. You need to get your delivery that's fine. Um, you grab that. Um, so who is playing along? Because I uh, posted the uh, sketch the other day. I'm going to just move my vellum over just a tad. There we go. It's not so glary. I'm sorry that I've got creases in my vellum. Um, I couldn't make it. At, oh, couldn't make it at the last minute. I don't know if that means that you're not sticking around, Dar, or if you're here and you're a little bit late, which is totally fine. Either way, either way. Um, you know what? Let me show you just a couple of things before I get going. This is a mailing template, okay? So if I was going to, for instance, mail this card, we're going to pretend that it's in an envelope. I would just slip it through here. It's going to get hung up because it's not in an envelope. And I can see that it actually does fit, okay? So that would, that would fit and not cost extra postage, okay? If you are interested in this goodie, let me know and I can hook you up with my girlfriend, Darlene. This is a great little stand for your cards, like so. 
I'm not going to show you what I have created today. We're going to have to wait and see that. And it also comes apart for easy mailing. It also holds your iPhone or your Android. So once you put the stand back in, you could just sit your phone there. I'm using my phone. And so there you go. So that's that beauty. And I don't know if I've ever showed you this. This is my caddy. Look at this. And these pieces, they slide out. So you can build your own. You can order like tiny ones, medium, tall ones, and as many as you want. Okay. Anyway, let's get on to the card. Again, who's playing along? I sent a sketch the other day and um, I want to know if anybody is playing along using that sketch. And here is the beginning of my card. I'm going to start with early espresso. Okay. And this is your standard A2 card. So um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then what I did was I took a little piece of crumb cake. I ran that through the stripes and splatters. And this one is the splatter. Okay. So I ran that crumb cake through the splatter to help me create my card. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some pecan pie. That is good. I'm glad you're content to watch. I'm going to just grab a sponge and I am just going to sponge the edges of my crumb cake. I want this little panel to kind of have a little bit of dimension. Okay. There is going to be a blog post that goes along with this live that I'll be posting right after my live. So there we go. We've got that complete. Now, if you wanted that darker, you would just grab your early espresso, okay? So there's that. I then grabbed a piece of the Love Latte design paper, okay? That's the one side and that's the other side but I wanted this kind of splatter. And again, if I wanted to, I can sponge the edges. You know what, let's grab early espresso, just so that I've got this darker sponging happening along the edges. There we go, now you can see it. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna do this away from my microphone. I don't know how loud that is, but that could be very annoying. I think I need to put some fresh ink. Debbie, I'm glad you're here. And again, thank you for sharing. This is just giving the edges of the design paper or the cardstock a little bit of definition, okay? Okay, so that's done. And then I've got, so that's going to sit like that. So I'm starting to follow the sketch. Here's the sketch. Okay, so this is what I'm following. Okay. So this is how, this is how I do a lot of my cards. I find a sketch, but then I like to make the card original. I like it to be um, my creation and not... Um, what I have found. And I just have a piece of scrap, uh, cr um, very vanilla, and we're going to grab the textured timber, okay? You know the crazy thing? I do not remember ordering this at all. And I don't know if I put in a wrong number, but when I got my shipment, um, that was in there. I'm going to grab my Stamparatus because I just do not happen to have a large block right beside me. We're going to close the window and just pick that up. And then I am going to 
that I put my very vanilla. I lost it. I lost my very vanilla. This is for the inside of my card because it's dark. Oh, there it is. It's stuck on the bottom of my Stamparatus. Let's put that down in here and we're gonna grab Pecan Pie. Oh, Debbie, are you kidding? And thank you for saying that, that is so sweet. Let's just ink that up with Pecan Pie. And I'm gonna also show you another little trick. I love this color. Okay, let's close that up. Move the magnet because it's in the way. There we go. Pressure tool. And again, if you're interested in one of these, I can hook you up with my girlfriend. Oh, Cheryl and Deb, thank you. That is so sweet. Okay, let's get a little bit more right there. So what I'm trying to do with this is kind of create a faux table, a faux tabletop, kind of a live edge. Okay, so that was the pecan pie. Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna grab my early espresso. And I'm also gonna grab a dauber. And I'm gonna pick up some early espresso and see where the knots are. I just want to dot. So I could do it this way, or I could do it this way, where I find the dots on the, or not the dots, the, um, the knots. Find the knots on the stamp set, which is what I originally did. Now I kind of messed that up a little bit. You want to put your ink on your stamp not on your design paper. You know what? Let's ink that up again and see if I can kind of cover that up a bit. I, I was going to say, I love it when I make little faux pas during my live. I don't. I don't love it. But the nice thing about it is it does show you that, you know what? I mess up sometimes. Uh, it must be you, Cheryl, because I'm good. Everybody else good? It must be you. It must be you. So we're going to just set that aside. I'm going to grab my snips, and I am just going to follow along the edge Because I really want this to be like a little element all on its own. No, Cheryl, it must be you, hon. Sorry about that. So we're just going to quickly fussy cut that. And I'm going to sponge these edges as well. And I think what I'm going to do, because I don't like what I did with my early espresso inside my tabletop, I am just going to kind of add some fresh color on here and try to give this a little bit more dimension. Yeah, don't don't put your dots right on your cardstock like I did. Put it on your stamp pad. Okay, and now this is going to sit. So here we've got this and this. This is going to sit there, but as you can see, it's too big. So I want this panel here measures four inches across. Let's cut this at four inches and then it'll fit beautifully in there. So we're just gonna kinda, 
eyeball straight. And then we're going to give that a fresh sponge on that edge that I just cut. Just to kind of finish the, the edges off. Okay. Yeah, Cheryl, I think it was you. Well, Lillian, how are you, darling? I haven't seen you in so long. So that's going to go down there and that's going to go down there like so. Okay, so let's put that together. So we're just going to use Tombow or if seal is your favorite, your adhesive of choice, you're just going to put your seal down. And I'm going to show you another little goodie. I have two friends that actually have um, 3D printers. My other girlfriend created this for me. So I put my Tombow down on there. And while I'm using it, I don't have to keep putting my lid back on there. So Cheryl, who is here, thank you for that. Let's get our silicone mat out. Those that come to my lives, you all know that I am a fan of the silicone mat. We're going to place that along that edge there. And then with this one, because it is a tabletop, I'm actually going to put dimensionals on that because I want to give it this, um, this kind of illusion that it's 3D. Okay, so let's grab some dimensionals. And where's my take your pick tool? Mm -mm. Oh dear, I was creating before my live and I don't know where it is and I'm lost without that tool. It's not in my caddy. Yes, it is. It's right in front of me in my caddy. So let's put some dimensionals down. And I'm going to put one in the middle because you know me, I don't like that to cave in. I want that nice and square on my card. Lillian, I love this paper too. The Latte Love Design Paper. It's all about coffee. So now you might know where I'm going with this. So we're going to place this down about here okay so there's my my faux crooked table lift that up there we go that is better okay i pre-die cut my french press using the holographic paper okay and i have a little piece of you can't there it is of window sheet but I also cut, oh, where did it go? Where did, oh, there it is right there. So that is actually going to go down right here. So it's sitting on the table. Whoops, you can't see. It's sitting on the table. Let's move my camera back just a smidge. Okay, so here's what I can do. I can either put my window sheet back here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So I can either put my window sheet back there and it's going to look like so, or, and on my prototype, I did use a window sheet, or I could use a little piece of vellum and that would look like so, just to kind of give it a frosted, a frosted look, okay? So I want you girls to let me know are we going to do this one with the frosted look or with a glass look? Let me know. And while you're chiming in on that. Oh, Cheryl, you are so welcome. Yes. And so this is my girlfriend. If you are interested in this wonderful stand for your Tombow, um, this is the young lady that you would frosted. Okay, let's do a frosted because my other one was glass anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this just fits, okay? I cut it just to fit. So this actually measures um, about one 
and an eighth inch by about seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so that is the vellum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a very thin line. And I'm just kind of moving that glue around and I want a little bit here. I pressed and I let some of the glue out and then I'm moving it around. There's some of the glue. I don't know if you can, you can't see. And so I've got a little bit of glue pooling right there and I'm just going to move it around because I don't want it thick. And now my Tombow just sits beautifully in there. We're going to take this little piece and what I'm doing is I'm trying to match it to end here and here, okay? Because if you are familiar with a French press, that is about where that glass sits, okay? So we're just going to twist that around so it fits a little bit better. Pull that down. It's giving me action. Pull that down. There we go. Okay, so there is our French press. And this came over a little bit. I'm going to see if I can very gently fussy cut that out. I don't know if I can get to it. Let's see. There we go. Voila, I got it. Okay, so there's my French press. Cheryl, my other card is the glass look, so you'll get to see both anyway. Okay, now in, in the dies, I think I tucked them all away. I tucked them all away. Where did they go? right here. So in the dies, you've got a French press, which is what I used. You have a, this is a pour over. So if you're familiar with different coffees, this is a pour over. This is the funnel that would go above there. That's a mug, or actually that's not a mug. That's your coffee. Here's some mugs. This is the, um, the, the packer downer thing. Uh, to go into uh, this bottom. So this, I believe, is called a coffee bottom, I think. I don't know. But, and there is also a spoon, of course, right? So we're going to grab this die here, and I cut out the coffee. You could also just grab a little piece of the design paper instead of a solid espresso and have a little piece of design paper sitting in here to give the illusion of coffee. And I should have put my, should have put my coffee in here. There we go. So there's the coffee. We're going to put dimensionals on that because we want that standing up. Here is a spoon. Here is a cup. I don't have to do the cup. And here are some coffee beans. Okay, and there's die cuts for these. So these little singles, there is a die cut for them. I did cut some by hand. Um, Okay, so let's let's put our our um, our French press. Actually, you know what? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this part right here should probably not be there either. So we're gonna just cut that off. That shouldn't be there either to make it look a little more like a French press. Clean that up. 
I want to make sure that I'm under. There we go. That's better. That's better. Let's get some dimensionals on there. And obviously, I don't want any of the dimensionals showing. So here's where I put my coffee. So I'm going to make sure that my dimensionals are elsewhere. Okay, let's grab some minis. I like to, when I need some long strips, I like the minis on this side because that's where I get all my long, my nice long thin strips. So we're going to put one there, one down there, one on the other side. I want to make sure it's nice and thin. You girls still with me? This is real fiddly, but it's so fun. I love it. I'm going to put one up there. I do want to make sure these are nice and thin. I don't want them sticking out. And I think I'm going to put, I want to put one there. And that doesn't necessarily need to be super thin. And I'm going to put some here. See if I can find a nice thin one. Nope, that's going to show. That's not thin enough. We're going to cut some more even thinner. There we go. Somebody is going to win a coffee card today. I wonder who it's going to be. Okay, that looks good. Who loves coffee? Who are my coffee drinkers out there? I am just removing the backing, just easier to do it here rather than hovering over my table. I want to make sure all the backings are off and they are. Let's place our French press on the table like so. So obviously you didn't want any dimensionals on the feet. I don't necessarily need to use the spoon, but in this cup there is a little slit so I can stick the spoon in there. I am going, Regina, hello, welcome here. Welcome here, welcome here. Okay, well, I always have coffee and tea during my classes. Regina, let me put your name down. Um, okay, so question, are we using the little spoon or not? Let's put some coffee beans on the table. And of course, we're going to put little dimensionals behind that. I've got one of my grandkids coming over this afternoon. He's not feeling so hot and his dad needs to go to work. Use the spoon. So cute. Okay, well, and here's the thing. Okay, we're going to put some beans there. Let's get um, let's get a individual bean, but I think I need to cut one of my minis, minier, so it's not showing. Now, with the spoon, yes to the spoon and yes to the spoon, okay, but we don't have to use the teacup. Let's put a mini right here. And so here's the thing. Do I use the spoon? It's going to look something like that. Do I use the spoon with the cup? Or do I just use the spoon? Okay. But we also have to put our sentiment on there. So, oh dear, I don't want to lose that. I did um, a sentiment from a different, actually, whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. The filled with fun on my prototype card, I did celebrating someone special, but 
I can also grab a sentiment from the latte love. Can you put the card up, please? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I should move this out of the way just so that you're not looking at that kind of stuff. Thanks for asking that. Spoon and cup. Okay, we have a vote for a spoon and a cup. Let's move that whole thing up there. Okay. You're the best part of my day. Thanks so much. Or hello there. Let's catch up. What am I doing, girls? What am I doing? And in the meantime, I'm going to get the spoon and the cup set up while you let me know what sentiment you want. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that spoon into that little slit. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put a dimensional down on there just to hold that in place. Like so. Hello there, let's catch up. Okay, Deb, it is. And I'm going to put another little dimensional right at the bottom okay we're not going to put the spoon on yet but it is definitely oh you know what i don't want a dimensional on the bottom of my table or on the bottom of my cup the reason being there's a dimensional here if i have a dimensional at the bottom of my cup the cup's going to sit really wonky on the ta on the uh on the table so I am not putting a dimensional on the bottom. There's just a dimensional on the cup kind of in the middle, okay? So hello there, let's catch up. Let's do that. Hello there, let's catch up, which is lovely because it's a different sentiment than my prototype. And we're going to stamp that on very vanilla. I hope that block is big enough. I just want to make sure that my, there we go. This is for the inside of my card. And I've got a little scrap here. Now this is photopolymer. So I want to make sure that I'm on my piercing mat. Okay. And let's use early espresso. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm well inked. And then what I like to do is I like to hold it there for just a moment. Okay. So the reason why I'm holding it is I want the ink to soak into my cardstock. Okay. So there we go. We are going to fussy cut that. And I'm just going to kind of follow kind of the, the shape of the sentiment. Okay. And I'm going to curl around here. Not worried about it being super straight. And I want I want that on purpose. Okay. So hello there. Let's catch up. Let's give that just a real gentle sponge. Okay. Cheryl, I would love to sit and have a coffee with you. We'll do that. So I'm just I'm just very gently sponging the edges. Just because a lot of the card is sponged already, and this is just going to kind of carry that theme through, where all of a sudden I don't have this real stark image, okay? Now, I can actually do the same with my panel that's going inside my card, just kind of taking the starkness away from the whole edge of the very vanilla. I haven't even re-inked this there's still enough on there because that's all I really want. But you know what? We're going to stamp the coffee mug on there. So those are down already. 
And if I did that, I think I'm really pleased with that look right there. Okay, now I wish, there, that's better, that I would not have put that dimensional so close to the bottom. So we're just going to very gently tear it off and trash that. Let's grab another dimensional and I want to go higher up on my card. I'm just cutting the edge of my dimensional. So let's just go a little bit higher up. And I've grabbed the back of the spoon, so we'll be fine. And we're also going to put um, dimensionals. So if I just kind of play with it like this, I can tell that I've got a nice, let's move it over a little bit. There we go. I can also put one. I need one of these long guys. I'm going to very gently lift my spoon. Voila. Okay. So fun, Cheryl. So, so fun. When you come to my house for class, you'll see this up close and personal. So there's three dimensionals back there on the sentiment. And I also have these gorgeous swirly dots. What do they call them? Swirl dots. Look at them. So gorgeous. My camera's not focusing in on them. Let's grab that sentiment and let's put that right there. Let's grab, if I, I think I'm going to grab the lighter ones because I don't want them to get lost in the card. I want, I want us to be able to see it. I'm having a hard time picking that up. Let's put one dot da, 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 right there and one right beside. And then the third one, where do I want that? Up there. I like that. Just little, little candies, little candies. Let's do the inside of the card because you don't want to be writing on on that and it just does not look as nice okay so we're gonna need our mat and or actually no this is no it is photopolymer and I think I want on here so this is in the stamp set could you also put the cup and spoon on the inside I could I guess I could have so here or oh, you're not gonna see that here is some coffee art one is that heart thing, and one is that leafy thing. Um, I'm going to do the leafy thing because my heart is on the other one. So we're just going to pick that up with our acrylic block. That's actually a really cute idea, Cheryl, with the spoon on the inside. See how my spoon is lifting? I am going to put a tiny dot. See that? Just so that it's sitting down on the table properly. Okay, let's get this inked up with, uh, I'm going to go with pecan pie. And again, this is photopolymer, so I want to be on my piercing mat. And I still have some coffee beans left over that I fussy cut. So there's that art. I stuck my finger. I stuck my finger in the, uh, 
in the ink pad. That's what transferred onto the card. Now I know I've got, there they are, some little coffee beans hanging around. Let's put a little daub of glue on that one. And let's put that right down where I made a mess. Let's grab this patch one, this little and I need one more just to kind of and then we're going to put that down on the card. Here's where you would write your sentiment and everything, okay? And as Cheryl says, you could always put the spoon and the cup on the inside. So if I open this up and kind of eyeball center, there is your completed card following following, following this sketch. So oftentimes when I'm creating for classes, I'll find a sketch that I like. And then from there, I just kind of build my card. Um, I do like my cards to be my own. Casing is 100% okay. But when I do classes, I really want to be able to do my own card. Okay. Um, sometimes I have done classes with cased cards. But for the most part, I like them to be my own. So for those that have shared, I'm going to put your name in my little glass bucket. Thanks, girls. And if I miss your name, please tell me so I can add it. So we've got Marika. So in you go. And Cheryl. Deb. I know, isn't that so fun? And you've been away, Deb, so you need this card. Karen. And Regina. Now, did anybody else share that I have missed? Or has anybody arrived um, from you sharing? Please let me know. And I'm just going to clean some of my stamps while I'm waiting. And if nobody replies, that means I've got everybody. I like to cut my um, my chamois into smaller pieces. I just find it easier. Okay, I think that is everybody. Let's draw a name. And let me actually pull in my other card. So here is what I created the other day. Okay, so this one has, you can see that. You, this one has glass and this one is frosted. And I realized I should have maybe cut that a little bit more. Maybe I needed to leave that there. Oh well, I can't change that now. So there's my two cards following that sketch. I think Dar shared earlier. She probably did um, because she always does. Cheryl, thank you so much for saying so. So there's Dar and let's add her into my little glass jar. And let's see who the winner is today of a coffee card. I have one name. And the winner today is Karen. And Karen, I don't think you even drink coffee, but maybe Rael does. I'm not sure. So Karen, do you want the frosted or do you want the clear? Let me know and I will set that aside for you. Our winner today is Karen. Girls, thank you for popping by. Thank you for spending an hour with me today. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. 
Have a wonderful weekend. Um, you love the card, the clear. Okay, the clear is yours. There you go. I will make sure that you get that. Um, we will talk to you all later. later. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Stay warm, as Deb says, and you're welcome. We'll talk to you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye now.